Yes, welcome back to DBL. We can all agree the 80s rock scene was a legendary one from Bon Jovi to Aerosmith. And of course, we can't forget Motley Crue. Now, these icons from 80s music will forever hold a special place in our hearts, but what was it really like to be a musician during this incredible era? Can you imagine? That's what we're about to find out. Please welcome to the show rock star and former member of the band Vixen, Janet Gardner. Hi, hey guys. Hey. Love your show. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, let me ask you this, Janet. Your band Vixen made major waves in the 80s. Just one year after your first single, Edge of a Broken Heart, you were doing world tours with huge names like Ozzy Osbourne as much legally as you can. Paint us a picture of what the 80s rock scene was like. Well, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, it's well documented for all of the access to excess. But, you know, there was a lot of really hardworking musicians out there playing great shows for people. And it was definitely the most fun time of my life, Oof. for sure. It was great. God, I can't imagine. Hair glam. I know. Oh my God. I'm just curious because you were an all girls band during the very wild 80s. What was the difference between being like an all girls band versus some of your male counterparts yeah, during that time? Enough. Well, I think, you know, it was, it was harder for us to get signed and stuff because I think, you know, it was definitely a business that was run by men. At the time, there was very few female record executives or managers or anything like that. So, I mean, I think one of the differences for us was that it was just harder to get signed and get taken seriously. But once we were out there and we were touring, it was pretty much the same as the guys. You know, you go out there, you put on the best show you can every night, and afterwards, have a little fun and then <laughs> move to the next town. That's and yada, 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 yada. Yeah. <laughs> I like oh, Sam, First off, shout out to Schaumburg, Illinois. I used yeah. to do my Christmas shopping at the mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, Woodfield. Of yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Anyways, we'll get back to the interview. So now decades it's later. Here today, though. It is. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's All right. too hot. Yeah. <laughs> So decades later, you went from European tours and rock shows that we're just talking about to cleaning teeth. How did you end up as a dental hygienist? <laughs> uh, it is kind of a, a stretch, right? Um, well, obviously, it, it came to the point where the, uh, the grunge scene kind of took over. And so a lot of us um, were kind of out in the cold. And... I, my family, my mother's side of the family is very dental. My uh, grandfather was a dentist. My uncles are dentists. I have cousins that are orthodontists and dentists. And they all had really great lives with that great work-life balance that we're all trying to achieve. So I thought, I can do that. Um, and it also appealed to like the science nerd in me. Mm -hmm. You know, all the classes that you had to take were very science-based and learning about the body and all that stuff. And that all appealed to me. So not only the end result, but the, the growth and the schooling, I, I really enjoyed it. I, so, I, gotta, I gotta ask you real quickly, do, does anybody recognize you and do you play your own music in the lobby? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. I don't want to chase people off by playing our music, but um, yeah, occasionally I'll get recognized, and it's funny. I, one time, there was a girl in my chair, and um, she looked at my license that was on the wall, and she was like, um, Janet Gardner, oh, she's the singer in my favorite band of all time, Dixon. <laughs> I said, well, nice to meet you. That's that's me. And she started crying. She was like, oh, my God, I've been wanting to meet you forever. And and I never in a million years thought you'd be cleaning my teeth. <laughs> so that was a funny one. And another guy that used to come in, he came in three or four times, uh -oh. never said a word to me, not a peep <laughs> about who are you or anything. And all of a sudden, he pulls out all of this stuff, oh, magazine articles. Yep, yeah old CDs and wants me to autograph all this stuff. I'm like, do you know it was me this whole time? And he's like, of course I knew. Of course, of anything. course. He's eating candy all day so he yeah. can get back in there. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, DBL Nation. Done. Here's the thing, make sure to check out Janet's newest music yes. by heading to JanetGardnerMusic.com. You can listen to her entire collection, find tour dates, and how exciting to hear your new music. Janet, thank you again, congratulations. We'll be right back. Thanks, thank Janet. You. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Bye.